women are nerds. Very few. I may be less than 1% in the world. <laughs> I think my mum would say I'm distractible and never can stick to one thing for too long. But it's, it's not that, it's, it's been one thing has evolved into another, into another. For me actually where Electric Couture started was a point of frustration while I was working in a tech environment surrounded by boys and there was a uniform and the uniform was jeans and t-shirts. I never wear jeans and t-shirts. But I'm a nerd, I love technology. And that was the point where I got really, really frustrated. Like, why can't I look smart and pretty at the same time? When I was uh, a kid, I saw like satellites just crossing in the night sky. And I thought, well, what are those things? You know, and people told me like, those are actually machines. I thought like, when I grew up, I want to understand those things. I have this weird, creative, technologist blend. <laughs> but my idea is to be able to introduce people to a world of technology that they might not have experienced before. I mean, I would tell any woman of color, just put your hands on something that is in technology. I'm telling my grandkids, you can do anything you want, so be creative and do something that you enjoy. Grandma's doing something that she enjoyed in her life. We are like in a world where you can communicate and exchange information really quickly. So for me, that means everybody has a chance. I don't have to be trained in that way. I don't have to go into this university. There are no boundaries, there are no frontiers. All those things are in, in our hands. That one thing that I really wanted to do is now I'm doing it at the age of 54. So I'm not regretting it one bit. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Marisa Briel and I'm the Regional Account Executive for ANZ and ASEAN at GitHub and I'll be your host this morning uh, as we go through our Align event at Constellation. Um, today we're here to talk about what and now how people are using GitHub at work. Um, first, we're going to go through some housekeeping. Um, the internet is there for you all and if you need to use the restroom, it's out those doors and to the right. Here is an overview of our agenda. Uh, we are going to be having some great product talks and customer stories. I have one of my wonderful coworkers here um, from GitHub to take you through uh, some product direction, which is really exciting. Um, we'll have some time for a coffee break and then lunch later where you can network and talk with um, your fellow attendees today. Um, so really quickly, let's go over what GitHub looks like today in 2018. Just some stats to go through to understand the scope of uh, the information uh, that's accessible on GitHub. So we have 67 million repositories currently on GitHub, uh, 53 million monthly visitors to the site, 1.5 million teams on github.com. Um, those are community groups, nonprofits, businesses, all using this, uh, this platform. 1.3 million students, so think about the future workforce, all the, the individuals who are on there learning about coding currently. Um, 100 million merged pull requests, and that's 3,300 first pull requests created every day. Uh, 1.5 billion commits that y this year. Um, and that's, that's kind of looking at 2017, obviously. 2018 just started. But think about all that information that's being uh, created there uh, and changed on github.com. So why are we here today? Um, we're really excited to be in Singapore and to start getting out into our broader community here in APAC um, because we know that GitHub is a place where asynchronous communication happens. I can work today and wake up tomorrow and I'll have information from my colleagues in the US or in Europe. Um, but it's also important to meet with individuals in your community. So we want to create these events, we're starting with these constellations this year, to have people come together um, to meet managers, entrepreneurs, developers, CIOs, um, and exchange ideas and learn where you're working on a day-to-day -day basis. So this morning during a line, we're gonna focus on the stories um, of people who use GitHub at work. 
Um, just some information about Singapore specifically. We have over 50,000 daily active users in Singapore. I pulled these numbers yesterday with my team. Um, and that represents a significant portion of the daily active users in Southeast Asia as a whole with 236,000 um, right now. So that's great. That's why we're here. We really want to learn more um, and, and talk with you all in this community. And we're really committed to continuing to come here to Singapore and learn about the work that you all are doing. So we have some really great speakers uh, that will be joining us on stage, and I'm really excited to bring them to you to learn more about what's happening in the industry as a whole um, and, and in your local community, and then look towards the direction of where GitHub is going. So first up, we have Michelle Mannering. Um, oops. She's known as the Hackathon Queen. Michelle is at the forefront of Melbourne's startup scene. Um, she's also working in science and tech and helping to drive the city's entrepreneurial culture. Not only has she founded a couple of companies, she is heavily involved in the startup ecosystem from running hackathons to emceeing, speaking, esports, and facilitating a range of events. She's currently started a new venture working with corporates on an innovation strategy and running hack dates and designing workshops. And we're really excited to have her on stage with us.